Hi guys, welcome to the channel. This is a general love reading for Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for the energies of the third week of April 2020. Every information in the box below. If you resonate with the messages, leave a comment, like, share and subscribe. Thank you for the support. If you don't resonate with these messages, they are probably meant for someone else and it's okay. It's still a general reading. Check the titles of the previous videos on the channel. You may find something for you. And now let's pull an oracle card to see the main theme of this reading for you, my friends. Fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, third week of April 2020. Let's see. Okay, I got two. Nothing is yet set in stone and a new romantic cycle begins. Quite interesting combination. Can you see it? I hope so. Of course, if a new cycle is beginning, basically, nothing can be said as yet set in stone. But let's see what the tarot has to say for you. Fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, third week of April 2020. Let's see what the energies have to say to us. Couple more shuffles. Jumper, six of swords. To start our reading, here we go. So, Six of Swords, Nine of Swords, Knight of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Ten of Cups, King of Cups, Four of Wands, and the Moon card. So, Fire Signs, I will guide you through the spread as always. First row of energies, the person that you are dealing with. They have, uh, to me, a positive uh, combination because I feel that the Nine of Swords, which is, of course, the card that jumps in a more prominent way, I want to say, in this combination, anxiety, sleepless nights, they are in some way a prisoner of their mind. There is some um, concerning that is causing them quite some struggles. I, I feel that um, either way this is going to end thanks to the Six of Swords, which is, as the general meaning of the card goes, the chance to live in the past, uh, rough waters, basically, some situation that uh, wasn't good and so i love that we have this particular combination and in some way for some of you this fiery energy offered to us by the knight of wands can be linked to your energy because this is a fire card um, and it's like for some of you the impact that you can have on the other person it is so meaningful for them that will help them and will allow them to leave behind these uh, struggling process self-inflicted for for the major part of them i feel and move away move away with the six of swords from these energies which is um, a positive aspect for them especially if we link this uh, opportunity to the guidance that we have um, received a new romantic cycle begins even if nothing is yet set in stone which i feel that for them it is um it is 
positive anyway. Second row of energies, usually to me, is you watching, in your case, fire signs. Fifth card of the reading, the art of the reading, the four of cups. Uh, I feel that for you, if I can pick up the card, is a past energy, meaning that um, following previous experiences, you have set your mind very clear about what is it that you desire, that you want to achieve um, in your journey, basically. And then you are not willing to um, accept anything that can be um, major, different in a major way from what is it that you um, desire. This can bring you the this kind of closing posture, basically, that this man uh, he is having in front, maybe of some opportunities, because is is like it's like uh, you see you see it from the beginning. It's not what you want, and so you remove from the situation even before it can start. But then it's like you are hoping for some simple and kind gesture, just like this page of pentacles, which is um, a token of, of great value, I'm feeling. So you are looking for some demonstration that can vibe in this simple, honest, truthful way, because it is the spark that can ignite for you the chance to pursue your ultimate emotional satisfaction. Ten of Cups, ultimate goal regarding family, the building of a lovely connection, partnership that can fulfill your soul and your heart. I love that you get the Ten of Cups with the A New Romantic Cycle Begins because it's like the token that can be extended, I feel, to some of you fire signs. In other case, uh, it's you that will extend this token to your significant others. So even if nothing is yet set in stone, as we have um, seen, there is the chance that something meaningful, even if, if it is a small gesture, can ignite the opportunity to manifest this beautiful Ten of Cups, which is your goal, definitely. You, you are not willing to settle for nothing uh, less and in the meeting of the energies beautiful combination to me because we have the king of cups four of wands the moon card i will start from the moon because i feel that this is linked in a amazing way to the nothing is yet set in stone you see double moon in the picture of course, this is um, this can be a situation that is truly in the um, starting um, phase, is yet to be discovered. This um, I'm not vibing. I'm not getting the vibe of something that can be um, um, foggy in a shady way to me is something that is yet to be discovered it is unknown because it has to be lived and i love that we have the king of cups and the four of wands because the king of cups of course it's the lord of emotions and feelings he has mastered the matter of the heart sometimes of course as the uh, general meaning of the card goes uh, it, this energy can struggle a little bit 
with the communication part, um, but with the four of ones, I feel that there is truly the chance to manifest a soulful partnership. You see the four of ones, very spiritual card, the ones, some reader um, associates this card to the 1111 card, um, very meaningful um, energy paired with the Ten of Cups, it, it's truly beautiful, with the uh, guidance from the Oracle, a new romantic cycle begins, the energies are definitely here, and so this connection I feel um, has truly a great potential, I will clarify a couple of cards, I will start from the Nine of Swords in the first row of energies for the person that you are dealing with, uh, fire signs, let's see, they are fretting about something, what is it? Let's see, nine of swords. I have three cards, but I will put the first one, that card, beautiful. The nine of swords um, mode. <laughs> will be put to rest definitely thanks to the death and rebirth process for this person uh, whatever uh, was the previous struggle will be um, left in the past i love that we have this energy here powerful major arcana complete transformation just like a phoenix um, it, it's like a, a confirmation of the six of swords moving uh, forward leaving behind uh, rough waters um, the knight of wands can be also be um, the spark of energy that they will gain from this change paired for some of you as i was saying before uh, with your uh, impact you can uh, truly have an impact in the transformation of the um, of this person now let's see the page of pentacles the small token the offer the communication some uh, material that can be touched gesture that some of you will extend others of you will receive let's see jumper I'm gonna keep it. Knight of Wands. You see, matching energy. So I feel that for those of you that will extend this gesture, you will do it in a very fiery way, just like uh, your inner being, uh, fire signs. Very positive because your energy the one that some of you will be called to channel and manifest will be perceived by the other person allowing them to snap out from previous struggles and move um, away from them and they will see you as the truly the spark that uh, that is able to ignite this process very beautiful and then I will go for the moon card. Let's see what is that is still unknown, as I was saying before. Quite a jumper, but not yet. Let's see in the meeting of the energies between fire signs and the person that they are dealing with. Eight of Pentacles fantastic the you see this reading is amazing it's full of confirmation you see the the pentacle that the page very humble honest and truthful the pentacle that he is holding in his hands he knows his value he knows also the value of his offer he will extend his pentacle in a fiery energy so some of you will do it 
you will as i was saying you will be perceived with this very positive and loving energy and here it is again the pentacle the beautiful new beginning the beautiful spark that will will come from the foggy energy the unknown energy but it is positive in this uh, particular situation from the moon for some of that um, for some of uh, the person that you are dealing with it will be completely unexpected so um, coming out from the moon energy this beautiful ace of pentacles the new beginning filled with love and emotions that can lead towards a beautiful four of wands ten of cups scenarios of course nothing is yet set in stone it's in the uh, igniting phase i want to say but truly a new romantic cycle begins so uh, for those of you that will be the main leading character i want to say in this beautiful um, opportunity for this connection props to you you will be um, very important also for the other person for those of you fire signs that are resonating in the reverse of course the roles are um, switched basically you will receive some kind of a beautiful gesture that will allow you to overcome maybe some struggles of the past but here i feel that for the combination and the vibing that i'm getting you are the one that will be able to manifest this beautiful opportunity both for you and for uh, this other person that has truly the chance to be uh, amazingly significant for you and so fire signs i'm very very happy with this reading um, if you resonate with these beautiful energies leave a comment like share and subscribe i will take this to an extended feel free to join me the link is below and if we part ways my friends i hope that this reading can be helpful at least to some of you and until next time i wish you all the best as always take very good care of you in these uh, challenging times for the world and i will talk to you soon bye